It's opening day. It's going to be the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the Chicago Cubs. Next on 2K Sports. A look today at one of the game's most beautiful sights. This is Wrigley Field, and of course, it is sold out. We're going to see the Chicago Cubs playing before yet another, and is there any other here? Eager crowd. Welcome to Major League Baseball. Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crack. 2K Sports right here on this Friday afternoon. Starting pitcher for the Cubs. Here he is. Steve, as he takes a look at this Pittsburgh lineup today, what do you think he's thinking? Now, this right-hander on the mound today should not have much difficulty going through this lineup. They tend not to hit the quality pitchers in the game, and he clearly is one of the best around. That's a prodigious lineup right here. Names that everybody recognizes. A lot of threats in this lineup and no breaks for the opposing pitcher. And the cleanup man stands in. Just about set to go now. We await the first pitch. Line drive fouled off towards first. Oh. He delivers. Mm -mm. Helped him out there. 0 and 2. He says, I'm going to go at him, but I'm going to go at him away so that I can't get hurt. He just runs that fastball by him. Swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out, one down. You have to be able to use your fastball in the major leagues, and this guy clearly can use that fastball. Throwing in the low 90s, a very effective pitch. Got a chance to check out the cup. Man on third, two down. Swing and a shot down the left field line. And that's down. The Pirates should score. But what a great piece of hitting right there and a big RBI. You put your team in the lead, and a lot of times it's too much for the other team to overcome. There'll be more coming your way next Wednesday. We'll see Delman Young and the Minnesota Twins. They face the Yankees at Yankee Stadium. Runners at second and third and two down. He sends this one in the air towards center. And there's the third out. Nice way to get things started in this one. Pittsburgh leads it one to nothing. a glance at Pittsburgh's starter as he gets going against these Cub hitters what's in store well we got a lefty on the mound on this one with some of the best stuff in the league among the elite there's a swing fly ball down the line and left one away now let's take a look at that lineup for the Cubs now, some kind of offense right here star studded lineup and really great length and depth with guys that really can put the ball in play We'll take a quick look at the Pirates and how they're positioned on the field. All right, take a look at this club defensively. The thing to remember is they're ranked in the bottom five for the total number of errors committed. That's a lot of mistakes and a lot of extra base runs. One out, a runner on at second base. On the way. Fastball just misses. 1-0. Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Pauses and now the 1-0. 1-0 is a fastball that runs away to an 0.
Swing and a line to left. That should be a base hit. Still early on to look at what the Pirates have coming up. This Chicago series will end on Sunday. The road trip continues. They face some good competition. The Cardinals at Bush Stadium. That will be a three-game series. Following that, they kick off a home series with Colorado. Not too tough a schedule coming up for them. And Bradley settles in. Well, down by a run here, Gary. The man on first base can run. I'm looking to try to get him to second. Then you got a chance to have the go-ahead run in scoring position. They better keep him close. And he scores. That is the tying run. That hit knocks in a run. We take a look at the win expectancy graph. Well, that's three consecutive hits he's given up. He can't be out of gas yet. He just has to bear down and get somebody out. They don't want to go to the bullpen this early in the game. And in the batter's box, it's green. Steve, a chance now for this lineup. Uh, they've tied it up. Looking next to try and uh, find a way to get a lead. And that lead didn't last long as their bats came out swinging here early in this one, Gary. Swinging and connecting. You know, there's nothing like a little early action to get this crowd involved. Oh. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Well, they keep the home crowd in it by responding early, getting themselves back in it, and getting the fans on their feet. Here's the pitch. Swung on, hit. Up with it. And there's one. And there's two. A double play. They pick up one on three hits. Strand a man. Even game here in Chicago. Bottom three due up next. He bounced out his last time. Runners at second and third with two outs. The first pitch. Ball. First pitch fastball misses badly that time. 1-0. And he checks his swing. They say he didn't go around, but they're going to appeal down to third. No, he did not. And the check swing worked. He'll continue as that bat. Swing and a hot shot. And that's down. The Pirates should score. And a second run is in. Two run single on that one. So two runs in on that hit. Let's take a look now at the play and how it affected the win expectancy graph. This pitch down to the zone. He handles it beautifully. Big time hitting the Runners at the corners with no one out. The pitch. First pitch, fastball, 0 and 1. He's just popping that glove with that four seam fastball, pounding the strike zone. He lets that fastball go by for a called strike, 0 and 2. The pitcher's got him right where he wants him now. Up ahead, 0 2. He could waste a pitch if he wants to. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. One away. Here comes the runner for the plate. A run comes home. Chance here to check out how the Cubs ranked in the National League last year. Third in doubles, sixth in hits. And they were in the top ten in team batting average, an offense that made a lot of contact and got a lot of base hits. And their number six hitter. Well, the opportunity is here. Pitcher in a spot right now. You get two outs to work with, and you got the top of the order coming up. One on, one out. Fastball, too low. One and oh. 
Well, that fastball right there just missed, just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. The 1-0 pitch. Fastball just misses, and he falls behind 2-0. Fastball is cut on and missed that time, two and one. Strike two one pitch, a fastball, swung on and missed, two and two. Here's the pitch. And this is popped up on the left side. Tried oh. to track that one down, but comes up empty. And he pops it up. Foul territory behind third. That one's taken care of. It's going to be McCarthy. He flew out his last time up. Two outs and a runner on second. First pitch on the way. Strike Called one. strike out of half of the plate. 0 oh, and 1. He looked like he was ready to swing that time at the plate, Gary, but he must have been looking for a different pitch as that fastball just paints the outside corner. The pitch. There's a hard comebacker right through the center. Throws to first side is retired. So they score once on two hits, one man left. The Cubs will try to hold and continue to chip away. Struck out swinging his last time up. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Here's the pitch. That's on the outside corner for a strike. Outstanding mechanics right there. He gets all of his body into the pitch. Great velocity on it. A strike away. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, 1-1. Well, that right there is a really good pitch. Just missing the outside corner. Give the batter a lot of credit, though. That is one of the toughest pitches to lay off of. That hard fastball away. Oh. Fastball gets away from him there, 2-1. and one. Come on, Cubby. The 2-1 pitch. Oh. Low for a ball, and it's suddenly 3-1. Well, this is your dream when you're in the on-deck circle before you go into the batter's box. If you can get the count to 3-1 and one and in your favor, you know you have the upper hand. Here's a swing, a fly ball deep down the line and right. That one's grabbed, side retired. Will they pick up a hit but leave a man at second and fail to score? But a great opening day here, Steve. The inaugural game of the season underway. Bottom of the third coming up doubled and scored in his last trip to the plate. Two down. Runners at first and second. First pitch to him. Fastball is downstairs. One ball, no strikes. Well, third inning of this ball game, Gary, clearly he's run into a little bit of a brick wall and up over 20 pitches right here. Oh. 1-0 is a fastball that runs away to an 0. This is low. Ball three. Well, this is awful right here. He's falling behind this hitter three and oh. Let's see if he can come back to get him. Ball Miss. Four. Ball four. And now the potential tying run is just 90 feet away. He goes with the fastball in the three ball count, which is what he should do here. Be aggressive, but he throws it out of the zone, and now a base is loaded. 
and we'll get a look at McCormick swinging the bat. And this is what they've been working for in this ball game. Golden opportunity here. Base hit. We've got a whole new game. You don't know how many of these opportunities you're going to get. You have to capitalize when you do. I think he's up to it. This is a clutch hit situation. And here's the first one. He makes contact. Line drive. And that's out number three. Well, they pick up two hits in the inning, but leave the bases loaded. Pirates still protecting their lead. He had a two-run single in his last appearance. One out with runners at first and second. First pitch, here it comes. Hot shot towards the hole. The second for one. Back to first, not in time. Not quick enough on the relay. He's got a shot of getting out of this now. Big time out. Now he's got two down. He's only one out away from working out of this jam. Two men on, two men out. Now the first pitch. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Well, it's tough to tell a hitter to stay back on a fastball, but this is what he needs to do. He's jumping out, trying to get to it, and is just way out in front. He's running, heading for second. He is safe at second base. Here's the delivery. Hit hard on the ground to short. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. Pirates three, Cubs two. Base hit his last time. Two outs and a runner on second. Here's the first pitch. And he lays off one that's right down the middle. 0-1. Well, the pitcher gets away with one right here. Fastball right down the heart of the plate. Batter just let it go by. He delivers. God strike and a fastball. And it's 0-2. Tries to ring him up with the fastball away, but it's one and two. Well, you see, he just missed with that fastball right there away. Let's see if they try to come back inside to try to jam him. Line towards third and foul. Oh. The one-two pitch. Fastball called. Strike three, and the side is retired. They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. The Pirates still out in front. One for two in the ballgame. Runner on second and two outs. You have two outs here in the inning, only need one more. The last thing you want is a big two-out hit. They're not going to chance it with this guy. Yeah, but I don't understand this. You've already got two outs in the inning, and this guy isn't one of the better hitters in the game. Go at him, challenge him, show something. And the number eight spot rolls around. Ground out victim last time through. Six slide up at the plate again. 
Drove in a run earlier in the game. Two men on and two men out. Here's the first pitch. It's now 0-1. Watch that fastball go by. Now that he's elevated his eyes looking for that high fastball, let's see if he goes back down in the zone. Hard ground at a short. Eli. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. So they pick up a run on the home run and pull even. Even game here in Chicago. Took a called third strike in his last time up. Now, Gary, although they have a lead, it still is fairly a close ball game right here. You have speed at second base. I might give him the green light and see if he can get over the third. And it gets down a three for four game. Good hitting job. And the run gets in. Well, a big two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. This man's doing what he has to do to help his team win. Well, the opportunity should continue here, even with the pitcher batting now. you got a couple of outs to work with, and you're looking at the top of the order waiting. Here's the pitch. And that swung on and missed, 0-1. The pitch. That second pitch cuts on a fastball, misses, and it's 0-2. And this has popped up on the left side. And he makes the catch, one down. And a brief look here at the Pirates and how they ranked in the National League last season. Tenth in doubles, tenth in stolen bases. And the triples numbers, well, they weren't quite what the numbers you'd, you'd want for a team. And it really shows the fact they didn't have the kind of speed necessary to take that extra base. And on third, one out. First pitch. Ball. Fastball misses away. One and oh. Here's the one oh. Inside with the fastball, two and oh. Well, with first base open right here in a three oh count. Don't look for just a pitch right down the middle to try to get one of those get-me-over strikes. He might still pitch around him to put him on. And this is hit in the air. Foul down the left field line. And a look at that one, but can't come up with it. Shot towards the hole. That's one. Decides not to try for the double play. Hangs onto it. Clark is the batter flew out last time Clark batting now. Got a couple of RBIs thus far. Uh, they're winning here, Gary. One of the reasons why is because he's driven in a couple runs in this one. Two outs, a runner 90 feet from scoring at third. And here's the first one. Hit sharply towards the hole. Throws to first side is retired. So they score once on two hits, one man left. Pittsburgh on top by three. It's going to be McCarthy. He's had one hit four times up. First pitch on the way. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And that's out number one as he takes it to the bag. Well, offensively right now, you're running out of time, down your final two outs. And it's all about getting people on base and then let somebody run into an extra base hit. 
one run at a time, one base runner at a time, but start to believe you can do it. One out, base is empty. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a liner to left. That's the second out. Uh, one more out to close this one out, Gary. And obviously, a successful day up by three and, and uh, a safe situation. So, you know, obviously looking to try to close this one out and uh, get ready for tomorrow. Base is empty and two down. Here's the first pitch. Swung on and ripped towards second. Out. And on to first for out number three, and that's going to do it. A lot went right today for the Pittsburgh Pirates, and they're able to take away a victory. And it's that time in our broadcast where we bestow upon some lucky winner, the player of the game on us. Well, you know, Gary, you would love to see him have one more opportunity to try to hit that double so he can get that cycle. What a great individual honor that would have been. But you know he's very happy with the impressive day he had at the plate to help his team win. And Steve, they're able to put this one away in the record books. That's a good victory. Hey, anytime you can go on the road and beat another major league team, you've got to consider yourself fortunate. Thanks for being with us today. We hope you've enjoyed 2K Sports Major League Baseball. We wrap it up. I'm Gary Thorne with John Crux, Steve Phillips, and our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you soon.